my beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about a new lip product from Too Faced. This is the Lady Bold Empower Pigment Lipstick. These are priced at 24 US dollars a piece. You can find them on the Too Faced site. They're also available at both Ulta and Sephora. Too Faced sent over a couple of shades for me and then I purchased a few shades. That way I could give you a more comprehensive swatch video and also I there were just a couple shades that I wanted so I'm using you as an excuse to buy more makeup as usual. There are 12 shades available and I have eight of them here so not the entire line however like I said they're $24 a piece so that's why I didn't buy all of them. Before we get into the product info and the swatches, I just want to read you some of the product claims. The Too Faced Lady Bold Empower Pigment Cream Lipstick offers a lightweight, comfortable texture for bold, fully loaded color with a soft as a whisper feel. I love reading product descriptions. They're always so funny. So far, I agree with everything they're saying. These are the benefits long wearing, non bleeding, feather resistant, and smooths the appearance of lip lines for 12 hours. I've had this lipstick on for several hours now and I will agree especially because this is not really a matte finish lipstick. I don't really think this is a cream. This is more like a satin finish to me. I think you can tell like my lips aren't really reflecting a lot of light. They're not really shiny. So this is more like a satiny type of feel to me. I haven't had any bleeding or feathering. I do not think it smooths the appearance of my lip lines though. Creamy texture glides on smoothly. Check, check, agree with that. Lightweight formula, comfortable wear, paraben free. It's definitely lightweight and comfortable didn't have my paraben testing kit out today, so I'm just going to take their word for it on that. But overall, I would say the claims are pretty true on this. The only thing is that it claims to smooth the lip lines, and I am not getting that. I think that's kind of too bold of a claim for pretty much any lip product. Here's my lips. There's, here's the lines of my lips. It's not, there's no real smoothing happening. They just look exactly the same but a different color. Which is fine, but let's just call it what it is. Let's take a look at the packaging now. It is this very, very shiny pale pink. It's a very silvery pink, not an in-your-face, super two-faced type of pink. So I do think this is a little bit more sleek and chic than the average Too Faced packaging. The box has the sticker for the shade name on top and then the actual lipstick has the shade name sticker on the bottom. We've got this metallic look on the outside of the lipstick itself and there is a very satisfying magnetic closure on these. It's definitely strong enough to keep the lid in place if this were to be tossed in your bag. So I like that, plus it's just kind of fun to play with. Also, the way that it's magnetized, the lid won't go on just any old way. So if you try to put it on sideways, it kind of self-corrects, which is also very fun. And then on the back, once you're done being easily amused by your magnetic lipstick lid, there is the little Too Faced heart on the back, very cute. The lipstick tube itself says Too Faced right here. It's kind of hard to tell with the ring light. And then when you twist the product up, it has this little heart-shaped bullet with the TF stamped in it. I love that. I just think that is super cute. I love a little surprise detail. This is shaped really nicely for application as well. Because this is a very pigmented lip product, that little pointy part on the heart shape there not just adorable but also very useful because you really need a precision application. These lipsticks are very pigmented. I almost forgot to mention these have a slight scent to them. It's almost like a light citrusy type of scent. I haven't seen the actual fragrance stated anywhere officially. It's very very light. I mean I have to be like sniffing the actual lipstick tube 
to even notice it. When it's on my lips, even when I'm applying it, I don't really notice it at all. It's a very, it's almost like an orange blossom, like a light vanilla meets a light citrus. It's really good. It's not super fruity. It's not really, really strong at all, but there is a little hint of fragrance in here. So I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that to you. It's not very overpowering though. Now that you've got the product details, let's take a look at the lip swatches of these eight shades that I have here. And then I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end. I want to show you an arm swatch with all eight shades side by side. Some of these are pretty close in color and I think seeing them all laid out like this makes it easier to spot the little similarities and differences versus seeing individual lip swatches. Plus you need to know these swatches on my arm are one swipe, one single swipe of this lipstick. I cannot stress this enough. This is a very, very pigmented lip product. And if you don't believe me, this is what my arm looks like after washing that swatch off. I did my arm swatches before I even put my makeup on this morning. So this has been wiped off and washed off a few times at this point. These are likely to stain and they are very intense. I was a little bit worried because I didn't think that they would be very long wearing since they are claiming to be a cream formula and they are very creamy during application. However, I think that this is more on the, if we're talking about creams, satins, and mattes, this is more on this side of satin. It's more on the matte side of satin than cream. Just in my experience. However, it is extremely comfortable, one swipe application, very, very bold, beautiful pigmentation on these lipsticks, and they last for a really long time. Now, they're not completely transfer proof, they don't claim to be completely transfer proof, but these will last you a while and you will not have to do a ton of touching up. So you are getting a lot of bang for your buck with these lipsticks, which is good because they are pretty pricey. Let's do a kiss test, shall we? Back of my hand doesn't have anything on it. Let's just lay a good smooch on here. So there is a decent amount of transfer. Like I said, these don't claim to be transfer proof. However, I think my lips still look pretty good even after transferring off this much lipstick. So. 
not a bad deal. I like the packaging. I like the formulas. I do wish there was a little bit more variety in the shade range, but overall I like almost all the colors that I have. I think my two favorite shades, definitely the ones I'm going to reach for the most, are I'm Thriving. This is the one that I'm wearing throughout the talking portions of the video. And Trailblazer. I love a good neutral lip. What can I say? This seems like a good release. It fits the Too Faced brand. I like the packaging. It feels very luxurious. It feels special. I would recommend this, but I think you probably only just need one shade. This lipstick's gonna last you forever because it's so pigmented. But if you're interested in it, I don't think that you'll be disappointed. Now's the time when I wanna hear what you think about this release. Has this been on your radar? Which shades are your favorites? Are you picking this up? Are you passing? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I'm fine. That way I could give you a more... Uh, uh, uh. So let's do that. Uh, right. Right. Expert reviewer here. Somehow managed to spit out actual words. Thrilling. Zoned out there for a minute. What's new? What do they mean by comeback queen? Queen of comebacks or like, no, come back queen. Like you're demanding the return of actual royalty. Which one is it? Guess we'll never know. These are the things that happen in my head. <laughs> my camera and I are in a competition to see who can lose their focus most often. We're tied. Ugh, I love this color. Wow. She's bright. Woohoo, mama. It's pretty though. Really pretty. Unafraid. Well, yeah, you'd have to be. Wow, this is really beautiful too. Be true to you. I will try. Last one. Wow. Wow. She's red. She is very red. Lady Bold. Well named. Okay. Smashed it. Smash those lip swatches. Or just did them well enough, which also works. Okay. Great. Okay, great. I keep getting so distracted by this eyeshadow. It's so metallic and stunning and I love it so much. Yes, I will be doing a review and tutorial if it's not already out. Might go up before this video, might go up the next one. I have complicated feelings, as usual. <laughs> Who knew? Okay, anyway, I love your faces, each and every one of your glorious little faces. And I'm glad that you brought your face here because I love it and I appreciate it and I will see it soon. So bring it back to the channel. Okay, I love your face. Okay, bye.